There are many options available to configure your workspace. Here we guide you through the configuration process. To get started, find the workspace you want to configure and select the additional actions icon next to it. Then choose Edit. This is the Workspace Builder interface. On the left is the navigation panel. It lists all the pages and components that you can add to your workspace like building blocks. In the center is the editing canvas. Here you can make changes to pages created in App Engine Studio after the Tokyo release. For other pages and lists, the canvas shows a preview of what's configured in the configuration panel on the right. You can preview home pages built before Tokyo here, but you need to edit them in UI Builder. When you select a component on the canvas, the configuration panel presents options for that item. Here, we easily change the data visualization type and then save our changes. Regarding the layout, feel free to resize, rearrange, or reconfigure the elements and widgets on your homepage. Here, we resize three components and place them neatly in a row, and then save our changes. To add or edit a list category and its filtered views, just select List in the navigation panel and activate the filtered list you want. To add an analytics center to your workspace, select Analytics from the navigation panel and activate the analytics center. Use record pages to configure settings, tables, and related links specific to your workspace. When you create a record page, you're using a record page template. You can then fine-tune it in Table Builder. Workspace Builder generates a record page automatically for the table you choose. Here, we open the incident record page, and we can configure each of the options listed in the navigation panel. Finally, before publishing your configured workspace, select Preview to make sure it looks the way you want. To learn more, see our product documentation or knowledge base, or ask a question in the ServiceNow community.